Hi, church friends. Happy Easter. This is such an important Sunday because this is the Sunday that we learn that love wins, that love is more powerful than death and hate and anything bad like that. And at Shade Tree, that's pretty important to us. That's pretty important to our vision that in the end, love wins. What incredible news. So our affirmation for this week is my true self is ever new. I am eternal light, love, and joy. So we're going to read a really great story today. It's called Andre's New Day. Yesterday had not been good at all. He had such high hopes and nothing turned out the way he wanted. Andre remembered how awful he had felt when he went to sleep last night, and now he stared at the ceiling and felt awful again. Suddenly, his mom came into the room, as she always did at 7 o'clock in the morning, and she opened the curtains. Good morning. It's pancake time, she said cheerfully. Andre groaned and rolled over. His mom sat on the side of his bed and gently asked, Still feel bad about yesterday? Andre nodded into the pillow. Well, I can understand how you feel, but it's a new day. Every day is a new beginning, Andre. She gave his back a pat and left the room. Andre thought about what his mom said as he got dressed and ate pancakes. He liked the idea of starting new and leaving yesterday behind. On his way to school, he noticed all the daffodils coming up in the neighborhood, and his dad had told him how the flowers die on top, but the bulbs hold the energy underground and bloom again in the spring. This year, there were even more than last year. As Andre walked, he tried to think about making this walk to school new and different from all the other times he had walked the same route to school. He usually looked down at his feet, but today he looked ahead. There were other kids walking to school and then he counted to see how many he could see. There were seven on this side of the block and four on the other side. There was also a woman with a baby in a stroller and a dog on a leash. They were all starting a new day. Andre stopped at the corner and a squirrel dashed up a tree right next to him. He knew squirrels hibernate during the winter and come out in the spring. This one disappeared into a hole in the tree. Andre wondered if it had babies in there. He, his watch beeped for eight o'clock, 15 minutes to get to school. The thought came to his mind that the new hour was another way of a new beginning. He could be new in this hour, maybe. He decided to look up. The trees were swaying in the soft breeze and the clouds were huddled together as if they were planning their new day. As he watched, the clouds changed and became a new shape. He took the next block at a fast run and felt the cool air on his face. When he stopped at the corner, his heart was beating fast. It felt like a happy beat and Andre realized he was smiling. His breath was faster too, and he enjoyed filling up his lungs with new air. Another thought occurred to him too. Every breath was kind of like a new beginning too. He imagined the sadness he felt yesterday leaving with each breath out, and each breath in brought in sunshine and more smiles. The last block to the school was the busiest part of his walk. He went past a car wash and saw the men drying off the cars as they came out of the wash. They looked so clean and shiny like new cars. As Andre approached the school, his friends were calling and waving to him. He smiled and waved back with enthusiasm. The awful feeling from yesterday was gone and he felt fresh and happy inside. It was a new day. A couple questions for you all. Have you ever felt so bad about something that you didn't want to get out of bed that you just felt heavy and kind of like, blech? What about... Do you think there were certain things that helped Andre to feel better by the time he got to school? What were some of those things? I noticed him talking about nature and noticing new beginnings. I, I seem to think that that helped a little bit. What ideas do you have of the things you can do to make yourself feel better? Any ideas? So this is a really super good day to begin thinking about those things. This is a new season, spring is coming, summer will be here before we know it. And what we learn about in church today is that love wins in the end. So it's such, such an important day to think about all of these things. Okay, friends, let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for showing us that love wins in the end. Help us to remember that on good days, on bad days, and help to remind us that every breath is a new beginning. Amen. Thanks so much, friends. Happy Easter.